hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you guys this vfx breakdown well for this it's more like a tutorial than a breakdown because i'm going to show you everything you need to know about this okay you can see that this object will really break and it's really looking cool the only thing that is missing is is the smoke or maybe i should call it dust so that's the only thing missing in this scene and uh, i got a lot of comments on this especially this scene that it needs some maybe gravity or something like that maybe camera shake i read i read all your comments and i appreciate them so i'll make an adjustment when i'm doing something like this in the next next show. so i'm going to put that into notice okay so now let's go to this video okay so first thing i want to tell you that i did not use blender internal self ratio for this but instead i use an add-on called rbd lab and this add-on is really really cool and you can break a lot of objects with this add-on okay so let me show you this add-on so you can just install this add-on like any other add-on in blender so this add-on is installed i'll put the link to this add-on in the description so you can get it yourself it is called rbd lab so you can see this is rbd lab so let me just show you how this thing work first press n after installing it just have to press n so you by this side you see this add-on by default it created three workspace for you so it separate everything in order so for this if you are not seeing some part of settings here this are actually like a build from the developer themselves they grant me this to use this so i thank them for giving me this opportunity to use this in my video so this the version that you can get which is the version one you can get it's on the blender market so you can get that so let me just go to the video straight okay now for this you can see a lot of settings here so really simple you just have to break an object but i like to break object you can click on scatter like so you can see scatter it so you can just click on after doing that you can just what you can do is to just to click on fraction just like that now it break this up like really fast it's even times let me just say times 10 faster than our internal blender fraction system so after doing that it's very, very easy you can see that this object is being broken and you can separate it you can see you can't do anything with it because the face is it's not yet done okay so when you come down here you can see that you can do this with detail or without detail you can see so you can choose anyone you like maybe you want detail or you want detail but i always prefer detail because when i'm doing a concrete so you want detail inner detail and it. so this thing i need some inner detail you can see that this is not just a plain surface it has inner detail so what i would just choose is to select the inner detail with detail okay you can see that the shape change immediately you can see if you notice that the shape change immediately so after this what we have to do is to let's check here you can see in the wireframe you can see what is going on here and when you try to scale some down you can see the inner detail that is created for us so with this inner detail you can just you can do every anything with it you can add more subdivision to it you can increase the subdivision like this you can see that it looks more dense this time so you can just go ahead and tweak everything here this is useful and you can see how rough it is now because i already messed this up so you can just go back and just put it point then back okay so let me just try and work with this for now so you can increase the cloud if you want that so just to break this up properly this now let's go back so what this thing actually does after breaking this object is separate pack all this chunk into like a collection you can see we have like two collections we have low and we have high we have high cube and low so this eye is with detail and the low is not with the detail you can see them so let me just show you how the faces works so when you just come down here what you have to do after doing all that is to apply the modifier so click on apply modifier so now we have the low res you can see it but if you want to see the iris just click here on the top you have the iris this is the low rate and this is the iris low rate. so with this 
the reason why they do something like this is to for you to work more efficiently if you have like a low computer like those the computer you cannot really handle more faces so this will help you create all your faces all your simulation in low fractured object like this and you can actually render it in R if you want so this is very very useful and this is like a great thing i've ever seen in an add-on like they really really put people like us that use like low computer in it so they made everything perfect for everybody to use okay so now we can click on this let's choose i then let no let's use low then continue first okay now let's go back to the faces now this is the faces tab so what i can do is to create a ground for this so you can just create create ground so i can just click on this ground then drag it down because i didn't set up i drag this up so i drag this up the play you have nothing working you can see nothing is working so what you can actually do is to set this as a rigid body because you can't work if you are not set this as a rigid body so just add rigid body faces then play you can see it break so for this now we have break object and you can change it to IRA to see the crack and high resolution you can see that everything is working really really fine for okay so for this if you see this look at this the way this team breaks you can see that we don't have something like this in our internal blender faces with fractioning simulation we don't have something like this but with this add-on you can really get something like this like you are using Udini or maybe Cinema 4D or something you can get something like this with it so you can see how this looks like a rock you can see that this is exactly what we are looking for so for this now you can add maybe glue to it because you don't want everything to break it's very, very easy just you click you add the glue so you can see here let's scroll down you can see that we have constraints so you can just click it and add glue click on the object in okay because uh, it's not working because i've selected the eye res so i will have to go back to the blue res to work on this i'm sorry so just click on the glue you can see now we have the glue then if you play you see the way it breaks so for this glue it depends on the settings you want to choose you can do a lot of things with this glue let's of this breakable then update and you click on the update you just play your simulation you can see that this thing just fall and it didn't break so when you can turn on the break again update then play you can see that this time the glue is very very it's not really strong so you can increase this so let's say 900 so now you can click on updates anytime you do any inflation so there's a button to click on updates so you can update everything like perfectly so when you play this also you can see how this is work like this is really really cool so you can just check it again in the iris to see exactly what is going on okay so let me show you how to add a, a debris and dust to this it's very really, really really easy also so after doing your simulation and getting onto this so you can just get the add-on then it looks for it yourself and you see a lot of this and the blend and the maker also have a channel called rbd lab so you can just go to their channel i'll put the link in the description also so you can just check out their videos and they also make some tutorial that we explain more better for you on this so let's continue so now after the after you are done with your faces and you're happy with the way everything looks so you can just click on bake that's awesome just click on bake and it bake the simulation so you don't have to recache everything so everything gets slower so this has one is very very it's really really great it's a great add-on now it's big it's cached so i will have to go back here so here we have the particles so this is where we create the debris and the dust everything so you have to give it a name so after doing this show you have to just click here on the plus like so so you can see that everything turned red so when you play this you have something like this so you see what we get okay so depend on what you want to make this to look so you can just set this where you want maybe you want it for before you get the debris so you can just set that okay so what if, if you want to do that just click on this minus here click on this minus here so we are back to normal so just click dust again so now you can just set this to where you want this to start breaking dust so 15 
okay now i just click on plus so when you play this now you see what we are getting so you can see that this add-on is really, really great and if you want like a full tutorial on how i do this thing this vfx here i will show you how i do everything from scratch if you really want the tutorial you can tell me in the comments if you want the tutorial so it's really really easy so with the add with this add-on you can do everything really cool and it's very, very easy create some dots particles everything inside this add-on so this is what i'm going to stop here for this because i don't want this tutorial to get a little bit longer so at least i may show you my tool and this is really great you can get this in the blender market so i put the link so in the description so you can get this add-on and use it and it's really really cheap it's a cheap add-on so you can get it really cheap so you don't have to worry about anything okay so thanks for watching guys and i will see you in my next video